Well, sometimes it takes a tragedy to create change, and that's one of the themes in the ballet Locked Doors, which is being performed by the Deos Contemporary Ballet for Women's History Month in Grand Rapids. Joining us to talk more about the upcoming performances, we have Tess and Isabel, the artistic director, and also a dancer uh, taking part in these shows. Thank you so much for being here with us, ladies. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course, of course. So let's just begin talking about what Locked Doors is and some of the themes uh, of these important shows. Yeah, so Locked Doors is based off of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire that happened in 1911 in New okay. York City. Uh, over 146 people died within like minutes um, when the factory caught fire. Mm -hmm. Most of them were young women between 14 and 25-ish wow. years of age, um, mm -hmm. and most of them were recent immigrants as well. Um, so it caused a lot of um, push towards women's rights, towards better conditions for workers, um, it helped with unionization, so it it made a big difference in um, in women's history, sure. and is the story behind International Women's Day. Absolutely, and uh, very serious, uh, you know, themes here to talk about. Very important issues. So, uh, what was it like taking part, or what is it like taking part in these performances as they begin later this month? It's really. Um it's something that comes with a lot of responsibility because mm -hmm. we're so used to bringing stories to the stage and at Deos we're telling stories that aren't always told. Um, but something where we are portraying actual victims in a tragedy like this, mm -hmm. there's an extra element of wanting to do justice to the role and wanting to do justice to those individuals. Um, but that makes it all the more rewarding. It's also really physically demanding because um, the whole impetus of the show is they were locked into this fire. Mm -hmm. So for the entire ballet, we're on the stage and we're huffing and puffing by the end because we're trying desperately to, uh, to save ourselves. Wow, it sounds very powerful. And I mean, of course, the timing of this is, is powerful as well. Women's History Month, uh, that's probably strategic. That's planned, right? Yes, yeah, it was planned to be um, around Women's History Month. Um, and we're hoping to release at least a small portion of the piece um, on video once um, the show is done on mm -hmm. actual International Women's Day as well. Okay, and, and because, you're, because you're dealing with such serious issues and topics, uh, what would be the recommendation for who this would be a good show for? Is it family friendly? Can you bring the kids? Uh, so we recommend not young kids for this show. Okay. Um, our act one is a, a mix of three other world premieres. Um, okay. Some of those are really lighthearted and fun, but act two is locked doors and it's got some some heavy topics in it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a hard piece to watch, um, but it's also really beautiful, really moving. So we definitely recommend older children. I think preteens, teens could handle it, but definitely not something for, you know, a kindergartner. Sure, totally understandable. So uh, Isabel, uh, first of all, congratulations taking part in this. Uh, to both of you, really, uh, this sounds like a piece that a lot of people will want to see. When can we see it and where? Just give us the details. Yeah, uh, March 15th through 17th during Ember Series 24, our mixed rep show at St. Cecilia Music Center um, in Grand Rapids. Really excited for it. Okay. The details are right there on your screen. We'll also get this linked up on our website as well. I hope you have a wonderful performance uh, opening weekend here coming up very soon. Thank yeah. you, ladies, for being here. I appreciate your time. Thank you.